Okay. So we're getting here towards the end. Let's let's take a look at the solver. Um, as, as expected, you know the solver does a, a lot of its work in the background, but there's some parameters that you can set up for solving uh, based on some goals that you can choose that you want to use to drive um, the analysis towards uh, whatever convergence that you might want to have. And there's different kinds of goals you can have for measuring different conditions in the analysis or taking certain measurements and uh, performing some equations. Um, simple ones might be like uh, delta pressure, delta temperature, stuff like that. <clears throat> so let's run through this really quickly. So here's our goals. So from the menu, you can see you got global goals, which is for the overall you know, larger scale of, of the assembly. You can have specific goals you can put on geometry. You can set up equation goals. <clears throat> so take a look at the navigator. Here's some of the goals that we've got here uh, up towards the top of our navigator. We've got some surface uh, goals. So inlet pressure, outlet pressure, so on. Um, down towards the bottom, if we move downward, <clears throat> we've got some uh, volume goals. So volume goals would be like the, the heat that we might have in here. Um, down towards the bottom, these orange and yellow ones, those are the um, uh, equation goals. This is where you can set up the differences between <coughs> excuse me, um, pressure and temperature, if you want to see like a pressure drop between uh, the inlet and the outlet. So all these goals you can set up, those are going to be tracked through the, uh, the solve process and can be charted. So this is one of the things that you can use if you wanted to uh, uh, drive uh, the analysis to, uh, you know, based on pressure or temperature. <clears throat> so we'll run the analysis. Um, one of the things that you'll see here is if you didn't mesh it yet, you can actually mesh it just prior to the analysis if you want to just let the solver at this step uh, that do a complete 100% automatic meshing. So let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at, um, if, you, if you also set up the, the uh, analysis to run on uh, multiple computers um, or just a single computer, you can choose to utilize as many of the resources as you have available or if you want to limit the resources uh, available because you've got other processing that you might want to do. Um, you can also, as uh, you see a box here, it says close CAD. If you check that, it'll actually close and exit, free up the license and run the analysis in the background. So it's, that, that's the uh, kind of like batch mode, I suppose. <clears throat> um, so you might be asking, well, why do I want to close CAD? Um, uh, you know, you can free up a license for, for one thing if you're not really needing to do any work or you can um, leave the CAD open and that'll allow you to open up the a results panel and you can actually monitor the um, some of the goals that you might want to see tracked during the during the solution solve. <clears throat> okay. So um, this particular model, um, of course, we don't have time to run it here, but it, it takes about 20 minutes to solve. So let's kind of move ahead and take a look at what this looked like when we uh, got this done. <clears throat> <clears throat> 